This math book is really interesting. So this math book contains calculus, but it's not a calculus book. It has tons of differential equations, but it is not a differential equations book. It has linear algebra, it has statistics, it has complex analysis, and so many other topics, but yet it's not really a book that's devoted to all of those things. Instead, this book gives you an overview of various areas of mathematics. It's kind of like one math book to rule them all in the sense, because it's a math book on advanced engineering mathematics. It's basically an applied math book, and it's got tons of topics. It was written by a man named Erwin Kreisig. Kreisig has written other books. I also have his functional analysis book, which is probably the easiest to read functional analysis book ever written, and it's wonderful. And this book is also wonderful, and it's one that I really like and I highly recommend. Let's take a careful look at this book. You can see here it's the second edition, Advanced Engineering Mathematics by Erwin Kreisig, Professor of Mathematics, Ohio State University, Columbus, Ohio. And this book is kind of expensive. I don't remember how much I paid, but it wasn't super cheap, which kind of makes sense. I think it's kind of in high demand because it's a popular book and it contains a lot of good information. Here's the copyrights. It looks like the original copyright was in 1962. I just got to give it a whiff here. Oh, it smells so good. Here it talks about the purpose of the book. Let's read that together. This book is intended to introduce students of engineering and physics to those fields of mathematics which, from the modern point of view, seem to be the most important in connection with practical problems. Topics are chosen according to the frequency of occurrence and applications. New ideas of modern mathematical training, as expressed in various recent symposia on engineering education, were taken into account. The book should suit those institutions that have offered extended mathematical training for a long time, as well as those that intend to follow the general trend of broadening the program of instruction in mathematics. A course in elementary calculus is the sole prereq, so if you know some basic calculus, you can start reading this book. And you're going to see, because uh, we're going to take a look in a few seconds or a few minutes, at how it starts, and you can see how basic it is. It starts from the very beginning. The material included in the book has formed the basis of various lecture courses given to undergraduate and graduate students of engineering, physics, and mathematics in this country, in Canada, and in Europe. And then here it talks about the changes to the second edition. I don't own the first edition. And again, this book is kind of expensive. I'll, I'll try to leave a link in the description. And honestly, I really shouldn't say it's expensive. I think books like this are almost priceless. This is an incredible book. There are other books uh, on applied math that are kind of like this. Uh, this is, just happens to be one that is very popular and is very good. But there are other good ones as well. But I, I do like this one. So it starts with an introduction. So review of some topics from algebra and calculus. So elementary functions, partial derivatives, second and third order, determinants, complex numbers, polar form of complex numbers, some general remarks, and then solution of equations, and approximate integration. Then this is really interesting. This is all differential equation stuff, including some applications. So this you would see in a course on differential equations. Then here we have more differential equations. You pretty much get a full course on differential equations with this book. So you can learn everything you would learn in your differential equations class with one book, and this is it. All of this is DE stuff, power series, Laplace transforms, a lot of stuff here. Then it goes into some Calculus 3 vector analysis. More Calculus 3 line and surface integrals. Then you've got some linear algebra, matrices, and determinants. So it really takes the place of several books. It's like one book, again, to rule them all. It's, it's got so much in it. And this is cool. Look at this, Fourier series and integrals. So that's extra. And it's got partial differential equations. These are things you might study in a partial differential equations course. I personally saw some of these topics and some of these topics when I took partial differential equations as an undergraduate math major. Then we have complex analytic functions. This is complex analysis type stuff, conformal mappings, complex integrals, and then we have sequences and series. That's like Calc 2 stuff. Taylor and Laurent series. So we've got a mix here. This is complex variable stuff. Integration. Uh, by the method of residues, it's complex analysis, more complex analysis, 
We've got some special function stuff. Then we've got an entire chapter, and it's a, a pretty involved chapter, on probability and statistics quite a bit, right? Then you have answers to odd numbered problems. Let, let's jump to the answers because if I recall, not all the answers were there. Like I think sometimes when they ask for a proof, it's not there, but um, no, it seems like most of the things are here. For example, number one is missing here. I don't know what the question is, but you just see three and five. Likewise here, one is missing. It might be some type of verification problem or something. But you can see how it does have some answers. Obviously, it'd be wonderful if it had all of the answers. I've done several of the exercises uh, from this book and I've checked my answers in the back of the book. So yeah, it would, it would have been helpful to have all the answers, but again, um, it's just something that a lot of books uh, don't have. And for what you get with this book, uh, I'm very, very happy with it. Let's take a look at the beginning. I like books that start like this that are like very basic. Oh, something else I should tell you that's really cool about this book. So it's written by Kreisig. So notice the sections. So 0.1, see how it says elementary functions? So you read, you read, then you've got some problems. And then 0.2, partial derivatives. And here's a nice geometric interpretation of partials. So you read, you read, and then in some problems. So it's got small sections, and that's one of the things I like about um, Kreisig's, uh, Kreisig's other book. And I, I notice a lot, a lot of other books, certain books have that style, and, and I do like that. And so this one is one of those books. I also like like the font and the typesetting and the layout. I don't know. Even the pages feel like they're good quality. I just have to give it a second whiff. I know I already gave it a whiff, but I'm just... Ah, oh, this book is amazing. And by the way, this book, uh, the older editions, they do come with a dust jacket. That's something that covers them. This one, I don't know if this copy had one or if I lost it or what. Now, some of these problems are really easy. For example, here, find the first partial derivatives of the following functions. Calc 3 stuff, really basic. Some sketching. So it's not like super comprehensive in terms of exercises, but it's direct and it's to the point. Like everything is, is to the point. I think this book is extremely well written. And, you know, when I see math books like this, I always think like, how is it even possible to do better than this? You know, because it's so to the point, there's no fluff. Um, it's very direct and it's got all of those topics as you saw, you know, you've got linear algebra, complex analysis, Calc 3, some Calc 2, some statistics, some differential equations. I mean, just so much, so much mathematics. Let's jump ahead to a random section, see what we can find here. Vibrating string, one-dimensional wave equations. So you got some PDE stuff here. Wow, this book is heavy. And it's thick. It's super, super thick. Super thick. Super thick. Even in odd functions. Well, it's got a whole section on even in odd functions, which is kind of cool, right? That's not something you get in a lot of math books, but you get it in this one. And again, one of the things that, not, it's not only the topics that make it unique, it's not only the small sections that make it unique, I think it's the fact that um, it, it's clear and to the point, and it's got you know so much math in it, and it's applicable to a lot of people. So math majors can benefit from this. If you're a math major, this book is going to blow you away because it has so many topics. You're probably not used to books like this, right? In fact, advanced engineering mathematics, you can get an entire math degree, and chances are you'll never use a book like this in any of your classes unless you're an applied math major. So when I first saw this book, um, I was blown away. I was like, wow. This is an amazing book. Uh, it's got so much cool stuff. I had a student a long time ago who also liked this book. He was a physics major, and he might be watching this video. He's, in a, he's working on his PhD now. And I thought it was really cool that he liked this book because I like it too. And I think as a physics major, when he saw this book, he saw all the different types of mathematics. He also took a course as a physics major where he used a book kind of like this, so he was able to see lots of areas of math. And I kind of feel like they should do that for all math majors, which is kind of cool. And I guess engineering students who take a course on applied math might also see this. But yeah, here's the Fourier, Fourier, not Fourier, Fourier <laughs> cosine series, Fourier sine series. This is something you study, uh, at least I saw when I took uh, partial differential equations. So they give you the formula and then they give you the formula for the coefficients. It's not hard. It's just like a little messy. You just take your time and go through it. And then here's a function here. They do an example. Pretty cool. Then here we have uh, some exercise. I feel like I've done some of these exercises. Uh, I don't know. I know I circled some of the ones I did, but I didn't circle all the ones I did. Oh, this is cool. Look at these. That's kind of cool. 
some little proof problems. Those look fun. Fun to do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a third whiff here. Just, ah, anyways, amazing book. Um, I think it's a great book and I like it and I recommend it and I will definitely uh, try to remember to leave a link in the description. Oh, partial fraction, so important. Okay, I'll stop. So much good mathematics in here. If you wanna learn more math, uh, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcer.com. Uh, they're actually on Udemy, but please use the links from my website, mathsorcer.com or from uh, the description to any of my videos. And I have courses on Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, differential equations, and some basic algebra stuff and uh, some other proof writing things. But yeah, you can learn math that way, or you can get a book. Uh, again, I'll leave a link in the description uh, to this one in case you're interested. And of course, uh, as you're supposed to say, right, if you found any value in this content, subscribe, right? Subscribe if you want to. If you don't subscribe, it's fine too. The big thing you should take away from this video, like the main idea, is that this is a book that covers a wide range of mathematics. And really, these books are unique, these applied math books. There's, again, there's other ones. This is not the only one. But this one is really popular, and I really like it. And compared to some of the other ones I have, I, I think I do like this one um, a little bit better. And it's just the smell. Not that I'm counting, but I think that was the fourth with, with, with. <laughs> Anyways, ah, until next time, good luck, take care. Keep doing mathematics.